and we've added a bunch of players that we're real, really uh, eager to continue to find out about. But uh, it was a good first day. Um, you know, it was uh, very apparent that uh, the offense, in particular, has put in a lot of time in the off season, uh, getting in the playbook. And uh, you, know, you never know it was the first day with the way that the uh, tempo and the execution was offensively. Any so that's standouts a good thing. individually? No, everybody, all, you know, just about every new guy flashed at times. And uh, we're eager to continue to find out about them. we got to find out about some of these guys real quickly to, to determine, uh, you know, their, their uh, state of readiness to help us. But uh, very encouraging with them. Very encouraged by the first day. How did the more quarterbacks look? Quarterbacks look good. Look good. Uh, Travis and Kendall took the majority of the reps with the ones and twos. That was the plan going in. Uh, we know we got to find out about Kendall. Um, you know, Connor Manning did some good things. Brandon Cox threw some really nice balls in the uh, in the second part of practice. But uh, we're, we're in a in a good position there in a good situation. We've just got to continue to sort it out. You can't do it in one day. Can't do it in one week, most likely. But but uh, we've got to get it done uh, eventually. This spring, you talked about maybe shifting some of these quarterbacks mm. to a different position. Is there any consideration there, or is it still not yet? Not right now. There's, there's, a, that's not even in the discussion. Um, we just know that Jason Thompson's ineligible this year, and so he's the only one right now that's completely out of the mix. But uh, for the other guys, they're going to continue to compete and see what we got. Do you like the competition going well into maybe even close to week one, or do you want to get this out of the way early as far as deciding? As soon as it takes care of itself, but it's obviously got to be done by. You know, a week out from the first game, but uh, until then, there is no timeline, uh, which gives us essentially three full weeks to uh, to try to get it sorted out. But but uh, it's an important decision, obviously, and we got to make the right one, and we got to have enough of a, a body of work to evaluate to uh, to make that right decision. What are Kendall's strengths? What, what do you want him working on most? Of Kendall, his strengths is when there's no play there to be made and everything's broken down, make something happen. That's his strength. And that that's something your quarterback in, in, in NFL, it's about five or six times a game. In college, it's about six or seven times a game. When when disaster strikes, you know, you turn a three technique loose, somebody busts, there's some uh, glaring dramatic error, the quarterback has got to be able to make a play out of that six or seven times a game. And that's Kendall's strength, is he can make that that play when there's when you know an imminent disaster into a, a positive play. How many more weapons do you have on offense than compared to recent years when you're in the conference? Well, we think we have a lot more. Time will tell. <clears throat> Receiver position is the is the position that looks the most different from spring ball to now. Uh, you know, with the addition of Kalen Clay and Scotty, we got Scotty back, uh, Kendrick Young, uh, Patrick. I mean, there's a lot of guys there that are going to help us that were not here in spring. And so, and then the running back position, you know, with Booker and, and McCormick being added to, with Bubba Poole. So we feel a defensive line. We were running on fumes in, in spring at D-line. We had five defensive linemen that were out. They're all back. So that's a whole different look group as well. Would you like to have one of the backs kind of separate themselves? Or are you looking at maybe more of uh, anything? That, we always let that happen naturally. And, and we've had uh, a lot of years where it's been one guy and a lot of years where it's been two or three guys that, that uh, get the... Uh, the rush yardage for you, but uh, the bottom line there is the overall production. You know, whether it's one guy getting 150 yards or or three guys getting 50, 60 yards each, yeah, not really critical. Kyle, you mentioned those receivers. Clay <clears throat> wasn't here in the spring, and he just right. got here a short time ago. Patrick as well. Mm -hmm. Is that a position in this offense with with Dave running it now that they can acclimate themselves in a couple of weeks? Yes, you know the simplicity of the offense is, you know, Dave, Dave's got a great scheme, but but it's not overly complicated. Uh, a new guy can come in and and uh, feel comfortable in a relatively short period of time. And in fact, if you watch today, uh, you know the execution was incredibly good for day one. Kalen said his conditioning isn't there, but he felt pretty comfortable yeah. catching passes. There's, there's a few of those guys out here that were not with us in the summertime, you know, due to getting academics done or whatever they were taking care of. And so those guys are definitely at a different level conditioning wise than the rest of them. We got to make sure that we take, you know, as much care as possible to uh, not get those guys, you know, with any poles or strains or any of that stuff because of their state of conditioning. Will you be naming the quarterback or will that be something you give to Dave to name? Uh, that'll be between me, Dave, and Aaron. It'll be the three of us making that decision. And uh, we're a long ways away from doing that, like I said. But, but when we get to that point, uh, all three of us will be involved in that. Are you happy with the way Travis has responded since the incident? Very much so. He's in better shape than he's ever been in. He's, he's uh, 
you know, he's, he's lived in the weight room all off season. He's he's uh, about 235 pounds, you know, very little body fat, and really has accepted the challenge. I mean, since the the incident that happened a couple of weeks ago, is he? Oh, that incident. I thought you were talking about overall. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, am I happy with how he's responded from that? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we uh, we handled that internally, and uh, we're uh, you know we expect that Travis is not going to have any more. Uh, issues of that nature. <laughs> Leadership-wise, you're not concerned at all. No, nope, no. Nope. He's a, he's a great leader, and and uh, it was a, you know, you know, you know, obviously something that was a mistake. But uh, his leadership is is very good. I know your policy is not to talk injuries, but can you give us a pre-camp day one read on where Johnny Paul is? Uh, you know, he's progressed about as expected, maybe a little ahead of schedule, and uh, as I mentioned uh, in spring, if we can get him by at least, at the latest, the opening of Pac-12 play. That would be great, and anything beyond that, uh, or sooner than that, is a bonus. Jacoby Hale is still quite a ways out mid-season, something like that. Coach, big picture, all day ones are different. I can remember two years ago, you were not pleased. Mm -hmm. Are you pleased overall? Are they chomping at it? Yeah, absolutely. This, this is uh, an exceptional day one, and but it's only day one. You know, we can't lose sight of that. You know, we got to start stringing them together and and uh, putting uh, putting good practices and good work uh, together consecutively. And we'll see if we're mentally tough enough to do that. Kenneth Scott is he 100 percent? I mean, it's 100 percent ready to go. You saw him out here today. He was moving exceptionally well. Him and Drez uh, give us two very good weapons on the outside. And if we can get Kaylin Clay uh, up to speed and. Delshawn McClellan, uh, Hatfield, uh, Patrick, you know, we have six or seven guys that, that we think are going to be uh, major contributors. Is Blecken 100 percent? Blecken's 100 percent. What do you see his role as this year? Strong safety. You know, he's going to be uh, the, what he did for us uh, a couple years back, and we missed him last year. We missed his, his physical presence on the field because he's an intimidating player on defense, and uh, it's great to get him back. How much of a debate was there to put Kendall Thompson at number two? No debate at all. We know we know exactly what we had in the other quarterbacks. We had a chance to work with them all spring long. He's the guy we don't know about. We can't waste time not knowing about him. We got to find out about him as, as quickly as possible. Once we find out what his capabilities are and where, where we feel he fits or and uh, you know what his readiness is, then we'll make a decision based on that how to set the depth chart.